Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to Book of Demons, the first game in a series of seven from Return to Games, which is a title that's being developed by Thing Trunk. Um, so, Return to Games is a series of original mid-core titles inspired by the golden days of PC gaming, which I'm from, as you all know. Thing Trunk's plan is to build seven games in total, right? Each unique in terms of genre and theme, but all sharing the same vision. Uh, so, Return to Games draws inspiration from the early days of PC gaming, where developers weren't afraid to innovate, divine defined new genres and created the most memorable experience guys today this memorable experience is of my first playthrough with diablo that's right the first diablo there is some very very awesome stuff going on with this that i can't quite explain to you without showing it to you i played this for probably about five minutes sat through the intro and just went through a little bit of the tutorial and i was like oh my gosh i have to show my viewers this it's absolutely amazing so without further ado guys i'm gonna get started here if you do enjoy this video it's very important give me some dap on this like button to show you support for this series and you can subscribe, guys, if you haven't done so already. Let's click and get started here. I'm gonna be quiet now. Ah, the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home. I love the art style. Only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Oh snap. Arr. <laughs> the ultimate evil has awoken. Arr. Adventure. <laughs> Darkness, suspense, horrors. <laughs> All of these await below. Good luck. Oh, snap. So this is going to be very reminiscent of the first Diablo, guys. Everything from Tristram to the characters. You can select from a warrior, a rogue, or a mage. And this is not available in this version, naturally, because it's the, the very, very pre-alpha. Um, but you will be able to select from a few of them. We're going to go ahead and create character. And thank you for participating in the Book of Demons Early Access. Please remember the game is still in development and may probably will experience bugs, unfinished features, or maybe even game crashes. All right, man. With love, Think Trunk Team. Okay, so, a mighty adventurer that believes in brute power of steel. He is proficient in all kinds of weapons and armors. You can sometimes spot a little madness in his eyes when he is charging a large group of monsters. All right, so you can rename him here. And we're going to name our character Zul'jin. And it looks like this signature cards grants an extra attack, additional opponent in range. Poison bomb throws toxic poison bombs around uh, poison monsters, damaging them over time. And mighty blow deals massive damage and stuns a single enemy. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start game. You guys are going to love this. So, this reminds me of the town of Tristram, right? You can go ahead and click on these Is people. That really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. So this doesn't this remind you of Chorsey? It was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. I love the art, man. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. 
Did you happen to lose your Herodric Malice there, Trussy? <laughs> wait, this ain't, this isn't the best, guys. This is not the best. Just wait. Check this out. <laughs> Stay a while and listen. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> Uh, but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. <laughs> I do not know which caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. And you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. So if that doesn't make you think of Deckard Cain, I don't know what will. It's so reminiscent. So, <laughs> he identifies stuff too. Imagine that. Okay, and look, it says, stay a while. <laughs> stay and listen for a while. Oh my gosh, it's too good. Alright, so now we have Yes, we can go down and you guys are gonna you guys are gonna crack up. The cook! Not the butcher, the cook. <laughs> oh gosh. Second level, the anti-pope. <laughs> and hell, and guess who's at the bottom of hell? You guessed it! He's holding a golden duck of some sort? All right, and there's our progress down. Shows our money at the top left, and at the top right, it shows the amount of game time we have. And these are the levels that we can select. So, uh, let's go down here to the first level. So, the gameplay is all paper craft style. I am a sword that splits darkness. And naturally, we have the uh, opening intro line that always happens when you go into uh, the church in Diablo 1. So, you move just by left clicking your mouse. Click anywhere to move. Click behind or own your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections, okay? I'm going to go through the tutorial just so you'll have an idea of how the controls are. Uh, you can interact with objects in your light radius. So, if I go down this little deal here, these are in my light radius here, and I can click on them. If I mouse over them, I don't even have to click. It'll actually pick up the gold and stuff. And it looks like there's a fight. Now, there's an auto attack feature as well. And you can see I just took a little bit of damage here. I have 9 out of 10 health. There's an auto attack feature that will automatically swing when something's in my range. Like this. I'm not clicking at all right now. But if I hold or click on them, it actually uh, it fights a little bit faster. And we'll learn about that in just a second here. Click to choose a target. Your character auto attacks. Auto attack is slow. Each hit damages one heart. Click or click and hold the target. Wait, the own target to attack faster. When engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. All right. So, uh, here's a little fight here, and I can just click and hold them right here. When they once they get my light radius, I can really do some damage here and pick up money. Icons on the top represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. All right, so it looks like icons on top. Aha, so we're getting near a chest. You have walked by a prize but didn't collect it. That's how that goes. Let's collect it. What is this? Aha, we have a card. Mighty Blow deals massive damage and stuns target. Requires target. Spell targetable. Resume and equip. Spell cards consume mana when used can be used only if you're targeting an enemy union unit all right and view your cards by pressing C or using the button in the bottom right corner rearrange cards between your card pane and slots by clicking or dragging them only equipped cards are active to unlock more cards visit the sage in town all right so to press C to manipulate these cards new gossip in town I see all right so you have no unidentified cards you can go for upgrades here. Mighty Blow. Cannot upgrade now. I see. Cards on maximum level. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Very cool. And you can scroll down here. Spell cards. Left click to equip. Okay, so it is equipped. That's how you equip them there. And how exactly do you use them? Uh, deals massive damage. No target in range. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Let's go to the next exclamation point here. 
Hard points are your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Your hard points don't auto-regenerate. Use fountains and cards to recover health. Aha, you can always go back to the town and be healed by a healer for free. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Alright, let's kill these guys here. Well, that... It didn't look like it used that ability. Level 1. I'm gonna have to look again. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait to use this health potion here. Do I right click to use it? Ah, that's how you do it. Right click, I think, is mighty blow. Actually, it's one, the one button, I believe. I thought it was right click, but let's try. Oh, there it is, baby. That's what's up. Yeah, and it uses mana. Does my mana regenerate? Okay, kill monsters and gain experience points to level up. Each time you level up, all monsters lose one heart. Oh, that's great. Um, every level gives you one point, which can be added to your hearts or boost mana. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, I can hit unspent, and we can either distribute that or that. I think I am going to go with hearts right now, because I am a fighter, and that seems pretty important. Magic Cauldron. Head to the town and talk to Bornade to learn about the cauldron. Okay, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and access these. Oh man, I want to try this out first. You can see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. <laughs> All right, let's try our ability here. Oh, I wanted to see if it regenerates the mana. Okay, it looks like we could go down there. I do want to return to the top, but uh, back to town. Aha, that's pretty cool. So if you get to the end. You can just teleport back really, really quickly. Good. I'm glad I didn't backtrack here. All right. Let's talk about I've gossip. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, that sounds good. Um, magical cauldron. So it looks like. Collect prizes. Each time you collect prizes, the price of the cauldron increases. When a hero dies, unbought prizes are lost. Uh huh. Do you wish to collect the cauldron prizes now or wait longer and risk losing the bonus? No, I want to collect them now. <laughs> uh, tasty soup. Yay! All right. Next cauldron costs 500 bucks again. Okay. Very, very good. Uh, you can get a golden key for 10k as well. All right. So what exactly is what did the uh, the soup give to me? I don't even know. Hmm, a little confusing when it comes to that. Uh, let's check. We have some stats here that we can look at, but it doesn't give me the inventory except for the cards here. So maybe I'm gonna have to yeah show character cards panel keyboard shortcut. It doesn't show us anything else. XP. Show character stats panel shortcut S and C. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the maximum of our inventory. It's it's kind of confusing, but okay, here we go. Let's talk to the fortune Greetings, teller. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself. <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. Uh oh. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit not to mention his social skills are clearly dulled by age <laughs> cool <laughs> we're That's all low. lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless wow magical cards are my specialty they represent a novel approach to magic offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spell casting Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places <laughs> like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? 
This some middle so ages. Middle ages. <laughs> when he went bankrupt. Oh. No wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with my help at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Gotcha. All right, so we can go to change cards here if we had more cards. Uh, looks like we can upgrade. And there's runes that we can get as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, it looks like there's some tabs on the right here. Ah, that's just to Few go between. Few living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Oh, so this Outless is the place that you can see. Men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old were uh -huh. buried there with troves of gold and gems, but the dead are now. Alright, so that's pretty cool that you can go and check those out like that. Alright, so now that we found out about all of that, let's go ahead and go down to the next place here. And it looks like there's a new kind of enemy here as well. Alright, so uh, let's get started here, shall we? That's a zombie. And other monsters have poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around. Zombies cannot be poisoned, they are healed instead. I see. How big is this explosion they're talking about? Pretty significant, actually. <laughs> Pretty significant. Alright. Did I get anything from that? No, I did not. Okay, I see now. So, that's basically when you gain levels, it lowers their total hearts because you saw how those monsters that used to have three have two that's basically what happens I see that's pretty interesting is that a statue oh uh oh crazy Ivan oh wow cool I smacked him boss fights bosses are tough to defeat each one has multiple lives the more lives a boss has the more rewards he dropped when slain all bosses lives are shown on the boss bar before each life, the boss is immune. He is preparing a special attack that cannot be stopped. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Got him again. Okay. Skeletons are coming here. Woohoo! This. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Wow. I gained another level. Beautiful. Okay, let me finish off the minions here. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Okay, what did we get here? Wow, we got a lot of money. That's for sure. Okay. Crazy Ivan. Our first boss fight, and it went great. Okay, what is this here? Oh, is that... Oh, yeah, that's a zombie. Okay. So, you see how their hearts lowered by one? That's really, really cool. Let's go ahead and check it. Uh, let's see, level up. I'm gonna go ahead and do life one more time. Nice. All right, notice footprints you leave behind. They show the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Golden footprints mean a corridor has been fully visited. Normal footprints partially visited. No footprints, you haven't been there yet. Uh, C. Really cool, really cool. Uh, it doesn't show that I've been down here. Okay. I got you. I got you. It kind of updates. That's cool. Okay, and it looks like there's a stairway down along with a chest here. What is this? A new card. An identified card. Okay, you have found a rare and probably powerful card. Sage can identify that for you. Very nice. New gossip in town. I like that. I like that a lot. And that was a fire barrel, it looks like. Okay, and we'll be able to go to town with this, too. So, if we go back to... Oh, now you could go down, too. So, back to town. Finally, a challenge and a chance to use my knowledge for the good. 
These mystical cards aren't used to cheat and get money from the hopeless and naive. So of course the fortune-telling woman knows nothing about them. <laughs> However, the true scholars of the arcane, like the hermits of the eastern wilds, sometimes pass their secrets to those they deem worthy. Like, like myself. myself. <laughs> You should know that despite their modest look, such objects can hold powerful enchantments with remarkable properties. Still, as long as their wondrous attributes remain unknown, they are completely useless. Consider yourself fortunate, as I will identify them for you. I do feel fortunate. Thank you. All right, identify card. And we'll go ahead and click on it. It costs a thousand to identify? Oh man, I'm gonna need some more money here. All right, no problem. No problem. Uh, let's see, Magical Cauldron, she gives us the ability to collect more prizes. Uh, but it doesn't say, oh, I see. So it gives you a bonus in mana. That's what that soup did a while ago. I was starting to wonder why my mana stat was higher than it was before. I see how that goes. That's, that's really, really cool. Okay, so let's go for one more run down. Uh, let's go down. You are about to leave this part of the dungeon. Are you sure you wish to go deeper? Yes. Look at that. Look at that. I'm ignorant. That's my rank. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Very good. Not now. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's do it. Wow. Look how big. Okay, congratulations. FlexiScope is now available. In FlexiScope, you can choose the size of the game session you will play. Depending on your preferences, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games, regardless of how much time you have. FlexiScope makes sure that rewards and threats in a single game are fair and that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted time. FlexiScope learns your gameplay style so time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more and more accurate. That's really, really cool. So we could do a very small to start off with, or a small, and it looks like the rewards and the progress change as well as the gold and stuff. So let's go ahead and do a very small to finish out the video here. And it's all procedurally generated, just like Diablo was in the first place. Uh, and it just lets you kind of choose your own adventure as you go. So let's go ahead and go in here. All right. Nice. Uh-oh. More money. That's what I like to see. Let's go here first. gonna explode yeah that radius is pretty large there what is I this like that. I like that he said oh we got plus one mana that's awesome see I'm really glad I raised health because we'd be like overflowing on mana right now oh also I didn't even think I wonder if the poison actually oh ouch I wonder if the poison actually affects the uh, the zombies like once they explode and stuff I wonder if they actually heal each other. Oh, here's some new stuff. Gargoyles have stone hearts. They're immune to elemental effects, poison, fire, and ice. When gargoyles turn to status, they heal over time. Beware. Okay. I see. Oh, wow, they jump too. Okay. I'm gonna heal a little bit more. I mean, go a little bit further before we heal or anything like that. So we could go down a floor. But I really would like to go to that other spot first. Plus, this sargoph sarcophagus opens, but nothing was in it. All right, I see, I see. Yes, I know the stairs are there. I love the way the game just kind of shows you where you can go. It's just such a unique feel to it. It's 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 really really cool in my opinion. All right. Same story as last time. Okay. Oh, don't you poison me. Nice. And one more here. Oh, wow. Shield monsters. Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Damage the shields by clicking it. Monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Some shields are magical and can reappear after being destroyed. Very nice. Aha. 
Very cool. I figured that was going to happen. Okay. Let's see what else we got down here. There's a chest. Of course there is. Nice. What is this? Oh, money. Extra money. Level clear. That's cool. It even shows you when you've defeated everything. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, um, this shrine here to regain my health. So I have a feeling we're going to have to fight a boss sooner or later. Very, very cool. Okay. Nice. <laughs> very neat. I really like this game, you guys. I think if you like Diablo, you can really like it too. Okay. Here's the second level. Okay, so I think it did heal him. I think it did heal him right there. New gossip in town. Adept survivor. And I leveled up, baby. It looks like I got some mana points, too. Or no, it just refilled my mana. I see now. I see. Alright, so as far as leveling up, we're going to go ahead and go with health again. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Horik the Quick. Oh, and he's an archer, it looks like. All right, I see where you're at, boy. Don't you worry. I'm gonna use. Oh, <laughs> I gotta draw him out somehow. Yeah, it did heal him. How about them apples? Oh, a potion. What did that do? Ingredients found in the dungeon are placed in the cauldron and transformed into prizes. Every time you turn a level point into a heart or mana, the opponent. Uh, no, the point of the opposite type goes into the cauldron. Uh, to collect the contents of the cauldron. Ah, see, that's what's going on. So, every time we level up in health, we actually get points to add to the cauldron to level up mana and vice versa. That's pretty good. So you could gain passive levels like that. Alright, hit him once. Oh, he just healed, didn't he? Go to hell! Ha! <laughs> he said, go to hell! Oh, this dude's just blocking his butt off. Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Yes, we already know that. Are you gonna let your shield go? Uh. It didn't tell me that I can kill him. Okay, let's read it again. Damage on the shield. Damage the shield by clicking it. Monsters are immune. Ah, I see. You have to actually click on the shield. Now I got it. Now I got it. It's pretty intuitive, actually. <laughs> it just adds a different dynamic to the fights. Okay, because it's not all about mobility and positioning. It's more about just strategy and, um, and like turn order management, even though it's not really turn-based. But you know what I mean. Alright, uh, there's definitely a way to go down here, but I think I want to go to retrace my steps first. And we're at a 10 of 13, I don't think it's necessary that we use the, um, that we use the healing shrine yet. Okay, doesn't look like I found anything there. How about this way over here? That's the way I came from. Being that I don't have a mini-map, it's a little bit weird, you know? Nice. Did I just gain? Yeah, I gained another health. That's beautiful, man. Great. Oh, another card? What is this? Health potion? Aha! Resume and equip. That's cool. So now I have a health potion as a card. So you really don't have inventory much as abilities that are like done with cards. That's really, really neat. I like that. And does that consume it for good? I wonder? Or does it refresh every time you come into a dungeon? Let's go down here. We might as well because we're about to go down. Level clear. Alrighty. Well, this seemed really, really neat. Alright. It looks like that's unlocked now. And we can go back to town and check out the gossip. Or we can go further down. Let's go ahead and go back to town and check out the gossip. Ah, 
Thank the heavens for hearing my prayers and sending us a champion of light. I shall aid you in your struggle to the best of my limited abilities. Come to me should you need remedies for ailments of body or soul. Yet you should remember it is no small task to uh -huh, face the legions see. of evil. You must shield yourself with faith. There is no better protection against darkness. If you allow yourself to falter, you shall become defenseless and even risk losing your immortal soul. I saw what happened to those who went astray in their spiritual vocation and... Oh, no, it's better not to dwell on such Lest things. Lest the darkness overcome us. Alright. Really, really cool. And it looks like these guys have more to say too. But my whole deal here, guys, was just to introduce you to the game. Try to find out what you thought about it. Let me know in the comments below. I might play it a little bit more. Have a few episodes on it. Try to make it a little mini-series and do some more runs. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.